is I finally had it with you. This time, you're out for good. If I can just borrow a black pen out. I told you you're finished, Woodpecker. So, I've gone and rented the tree house. To him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. O-U-T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? Go. You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a um, hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh, ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little <laughs> cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree house? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her. You ain't spoiling this for me. Miss <laughs> Meanie? I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handle the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker is up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites, my sweet. <laughs> Nicky boy! Yeehaw! I've been a wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles, you're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? 
Come. <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles. Ms. Moore. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yep, 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 yep. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure. He got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? Oh, I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time, bub? Uh, I did hope that. and yes, he games. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Element left, element left, run That's my pocket watch. And my brooch! <laughs> It was you? How clever! How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, no, you don't, Woodpecker! You won't take advantage of my hospitality, you freeloading sponge bird, you walking moot wagon! Get back here! Get back here! Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail! Besides in which, we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her foresafe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past her mansion. Order! Order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I'm sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the Youth Center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Weeki, we're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Additions today, five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your play, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know, I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired! Yay! We won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first rule of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Ah, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Buzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Tweaky story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Cue Splinter and Nut Head. Ha ha! Yo ho ho! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. 
Oh, the pain! That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, this is art! Jew, Splinter, and not head. Super Woodpeckers to the rescue! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Roger Ramco, nimble knothead! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that! Now you play me, and you play Tweaky! No pirates, no flying woodpeckers! This is drama! Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. Oh, the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on sea block with a gorilla named Bubba. No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by, uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle... Pirates! Oh, pirates! <laughs> pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> what a day! Nothing but fun in the sun and free fish fry. Oh boy, that's for me. You hear about the free fish? Thanks for the free grub, bub. What you gonna eat tomorrow, sonny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. Twenty-five bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever. 
Just for catching a stupid fish? Oh boy, you're on, bub. <sighs> I'll catch a few of these, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. Let's see. Ten letter word for sucker. I got it. Woodpecker. A sucker is a woodpecker. What's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Now get up, you overgrown minnow! Whoa! Whoa, Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're going to let me go? No how, no way! I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hi! Is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And 
to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trap. Stick right up. Give me hooks. I need plenty of bait. Hold a bigger net. Wasting their lives? Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. Ah! Yeah! Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. Bye. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? <laughs> Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. But schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world, there's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. Ah, <gasps> itch. It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? Yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business with this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Want a little fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... You probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. A <laughs> hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. 
But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. <laughs> All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yikes! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... It's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs> <laughs> My Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Ooh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Forrest knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition. <laughs> Looks like we've got competition, Nuthead. 
You call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> 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 They better get a closer look at what's in that can. <laughs> Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? It's too yummy to be swamp gas. Oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> It's too dark. I'll just... No! Oh, bird. Nyad, you think Wally here's trying to sabotage us? Insert tubing A into pipe fitting C. Check. Machine. Let's try tank toilet water power booster capabilities. Shh! It's that wiener Wally again. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Forrest, one time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! <laughs> Hiya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> There's always next year, Wally. <laughs> Congratulations! What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh Woody Woodpecker, uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Twiggy. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch 
where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no bother about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz Buzzard, resident of bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh! Being a star was so dangerous. And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mr. Buzzard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Buzzard. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky, all we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, yeah! Oh, that Woody Woodpecker, his first day in Hollywood, and just look at this wild, wild party. He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed! <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, 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 oh. They're uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, 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 oh. Jungle, Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. You were last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! 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 Woody Black Belt will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me.
brilliant, Sacco Baffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star! Not a mighty way, you dish rag! Let me out of here! I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again and never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. <laughs> No, come back! My career is in your hands! Think of the fame! The adoring fans! The autograph hounds! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away! I'll be back soon with another cartoon! <laughs> Sentimental hogwash. Send for our mysterious Kiss Salicious Love Potion and find love, love, love. Kiss Salicious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Hello? I'd like to order a bottle of passion. I, I, potion. Potion. Oh, I'm getting tingly just thinking about it. Woohoo! It's here! No. <laughs> Kissalicious love potion? This is some powerful stuff. Morning, Miss Meanie. What are you doing on my mailbox, then? <laughs> Who's the cutest little godly wadly tusk puppy around? <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't move a muscle, Cupcake. I'm off to prepare our love nest. <laughs> kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Don't you love me, do ya not? Oh, yeah, kiss a lot. Do you love me, do ya not? Woodpecker. <laughs> She's going gaga. Cuckoo, buggy for me. You must help me. She's your landlady. Let's see. I must help Wally. I must help Wally. Not. Help Wally. Help Wally. Not. Oops. Sorry, Wally. Please. I give you anything. Just find a way to get her not to like me. Anything? Say, uh, free eats for a month, Wally? Ah, uh, you gaga cuckoo buggy, you bankrupt me. Yo ho, oh, Wally. Which sounds the most romantic, Ms. Meanie Walrus, Mrs. Wally Walrus, or my fave, Mr. Wally Meanie? <laughs> okay, okay, free meals for a month, Woodpecker. <laughs> ah, she's just gonna think I'm booing her, Woodpecker. Do exactly as I say, and Meanie's love meter will go kaput in record time. How do I look, my cheesy enchilada? <laughs> nope! She's going to smooch me to death. Relax. Just say what I tell you. Whoa! Okay, now turn around and say, your dress reminds me of... Uh, the, uh, your dress reminds me of... A bad excuse for a circus tent. A bad excuse for a circus tent. Oh, Wally, you're so right about this dress. In it, I'm filled with laughter, fun, and frolic, just like a circus tent, my little love clown. <laughs> Come here. This is not working, Woodpecker. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling. Swedish boy, you're as cuddly as a meatball, and my heart is filled with joy. She's a hard day's work, but I'm about to put in some 
overtime. Give it to her. Uh, yeah. I got you this, Ms. Meanie. A Wally? A gift for moi? Now to collect my payoff. Meatballs, here I come. Oh, I've always wanted a red herring coat. I bet everybody's doing dead fish in Paris this year. I simply love it. Yoinky doinky. Uh... Not so fast, biscuit beak. <laughs> She's more in love with me than ever. What does that tell you? There's no accounting for taste? No! It means your plan isn't working. Ah, don't get your shorts in a bunch, Wally. Drastic women call for drastic measures. Lois, you want a boogie? Unchained, Wally. This woodpecker's job is finally done. How did you know I adore oil wrestling? Kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Wait. A love potion. Now they can both go gaga for each other. Hi, Wally. Drink this. Let me. What's happening? Good for four hours only. Uh oh. Meanies must be wearing off. Huh? Ooh, my little fjord dancer. Come to Volley. Help! What am I doing here? And what's that smell? Ick! It's me! Woodpecker! Help me! Help me! Oh, my spicy meatball! Mm. Woodpecker! You got to do something! Oh, uh, I'll be glad to find a way to take him off your hands, Ms. Meanie. Uh, what's it worth to you? Free rent for a month? Six months. A year? How about installing oh, a hot tub in my treehouse? Uh, a basketball hoop on my tree. What do you say? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Anything would pick up Kiss anything! Welcome to Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club.com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible EGA members. And my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> this is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm. I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match. And you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. 
A cyber high to you, Chili Lily. Trust me. <clears throat> My love computer is working night and day <clears throat> to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. <clears throat> Smedley the love doctor will not rest until he has found your soulmate. This is Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club .com. Logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with has a big heart and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. Yup, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Oh, come back, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose. Mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For your own good, I'm going to deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date and Smedley the love mechanic will hook you up. Monitor one, seven, twenty-two, nine, four, Hold on one puppy-loving minute. Huh? Ah, you get, you little heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin-sized Romeo and Juliet! Now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day. The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment. Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. Special delivery for Miss Meanie. 
I'll be a turnip. An invitation to my high school reunion. Oh, I wonder if Biff Buff will be there. I'll show that no good so-and-so. I've done just fine after our breakup. But I gotta go with a date who'll make him jealous with a capital J. <laughs> Whoa. According to your lease, Section 73, Article 12, said woodpecker must accompany me, said landlady, to any and all social outings as my date. If I show request or else said woodpecker, you will be evicted. <laughs> you don't said. But don't get any romantic notions, cuddle buns. This is strictly a platonic business deal. Got it? Our target is my old flame, Biff Buff. When he sees how much fun I still am on a date, after all these years, he'll eat his jaw card out for dumping me back in high school. Now look, debonair, Woodpecker. You and me are going to be the dream date of this reunion. Nightmare date's more like it. It's Meanie and Date. That's spelled D-A-T-E. Ha! Well, what do you know? Maybe this party won't be such a drag after all. <laughs> Meanie! Catholic is Meanie, you okay? I'll go to the gym and get you something to drink. Be back soon. Hold on, Woodpecker. You're here to make Biff jealous, so you don't go anywhere without me by your side. Got it? Uh, right. So how about we go to the gym together for some fun? You know, to make Biff jealous? You like games? Well, let's go play Guess My Old Locker Combination. Well! Go, go ahead, Woodpecker. Try again, try again. No one ever guesses on the first 300 tries. Ooh. Biff sees me here! Oh. Why, you little dickens! Didn't I tell you this was fun? Ah, oh, I can hardly stand it. Oh, heavens! It's jammed, Meanie! I'll have to go get help! Don't you dare! He President of the Judo Club, don't you know? Woodpecker, don't poop out on my party. Ah! It's him! It's Biff! Biff always wore a checkered sports coat. What brats? That boy always could get away from me. Well, let's find him so I can ask him his secret. <laughs> Hey, Meanie, let's page Mr. Wright. Biff Buck to the art room. Biff Buck to the art room. Now! Oh, good thinking, Woodpecker. Keep it up and I may even give you a rent reduction. This Woodpecker's date night is just about over. <laughs> huh? Oh, Miss Meanie, what a horrible accident. I'll get someone down in the gym uh, to help. <laughs> Don't move a muscle till I return. Fun and games, here I come. Woohoo! <laughs> You, you big jokester! Ha ha ha! Ho! Hi, Biff! 
Always trying to be the centerpiece of attention, huh, meanie? <laughs> 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 She's the centerpiece, and so's her little friend. <laughs> I say, chaps, laugh if you must, but Meanie here is the centerpiece of my very existence. <gasps> my castle would not be such without Milady there to watch over it and see that all things run as they must. Wait, you two live in a castle? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Woodpecker! Me, Castle A. Sue Castle! I am Lord Crinkle. Perhaps you've heard of me? And I will not stand to have the likes of you besmirching my meanie's character with your cheap laughter. <laughs> Choose your weapon! Uh, we didn't know, Lord Crinkle. We shall duel to the finish for my fair meanie's honor. Oh. Uh, we were just kidding you, Lordship. <laughs> oh, you were gallant. He bought it hook, line, and woodpecker, Woody. Can we go have some fun now, Miss Meanie? You bet. We're gonna go to the Industrial Film Festival together. The Ice Cube exhibit on Sunday. Oh, oh I know this great little dim sort of bingo parlor. Oh, I tell you, the fun is just <laughs> <laughs> 